Hello everybody, welcome back to Ren Gaming. Right, following on from the video we put up last week of the of the 960 benchmarks, um, kind of got us thinking about price to performance and other cards that come in around the same level. So, I mean, really from NVIDIA, it's the 960 because it's the newest card. From AMD, the 285. Now the R9 285, um, I will read you again, paperwork you see, I'll read you a couple of uh, specs about it. Um, it's got uh, 1792 shader units, um, 32 ROPs, it's on the Tonga CPU, um, it's got 2 gig of DDR5, now that's clocked at 1400, uh, on a 256 wide memory bit, uh, buzz, sorry, it's been a very long day. Um, the core is clocked at uh, 965. Now this is the Sapphire Radian, uh, the R9. This is the Julex overclocked. It's possibly the longest name for a graphics card I've ever heard. Um, and we're going to put it up against the Asus Strix 960 um, because they are virtually the same price. There's about uh, four quid in it. Uh, and the Strix has uh, uh, 1024 shader units, 32 ROPs. It's on the GM2 uh, 206 uh, CPU. It runs um, 2 gig of DDR5. Um, it's only on 128 bit uh, memory buzz, this one, um, but the memory is clocked to 1800. Um, the core clock on these are 1253. So it's going to be an interesting battle between the two. So we'll do what we always do we'll cut some graphs and then we'll have a conclusion. Right, so the same as always, we have the Asus Strix and the Sapphire Julex overclocked. Very long name. Um, games on the bottom. Now we have had to change the games we used ever so slightly this time because my friend who's got the 285 didn't have the same games that we benchmarked the Strix on originally. So we've had a little bit of a play around. But um, Tomb Raider, 4x AA, 39 from Nvidia, 37 from the AMD card. Battlefield 4 at 4 times AA, um, 50 on the Nvidia card, 46 on the AMD card. Then we have Bioshock with no AA, always scores highly, 93 on the 960 and 103 on the AMD card. So it's um, a big difference for the AMD card there. Um, and then we have Crisis 3, 4 times AA, 26 and 28. These cards are always going to struggle. Um, of course, you can turn off the AA and it's perfectly playable, although it won't be as pretty. Um, and then we go on to Metro Last Light with no AA. Both cards came in at bang on 57. So, um, when you look at how well both of these cards are performing, and you have to excuse me if I keep looking away because I'm trying to do this all in real time, um, they are trading blows all the way. There are, there's hardly any difference between them at all. Price-wise, they're almost exactly the same. Um, the Sapphire card does come in about £4 more expensive than the Strix card. It's the cheapest I managed to find it. Um, uh, scan 198 for it. And um, the Asus Strix is around 190 So there's not a massive difference. Um, I did find one that was only £4 cheaper, but that was from an unreliable source. So, you know, remember kids, buy your stuff where you know it's safe. Anyway. So, when I started thinking about cards at this price point, to this performance, I thought, well, what about the 280X? Where's that? Where's the 280X gone? Because AMD brought in the 285 um, as a kind of replacement. It uses less power. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's more efficient, doesn't put out as much heat, but it's got less memory, um, the clocks are lower, so, I thought, sod it, let's have a look at what the uh, 280X can do. So, back to the graphs, 39, 37, 53 on Tomb Raider, massive difference. Now, Battlefield 4 is the only one here where it actually drops down, so 50, 46, and 45. Um, and then Bioshock again, 93, 103, and 105, so it's better there. Crisis 3, it breaks the magic 30 barrier, so that would be playable at 4 times AA there. Um, and then 57, 57, and it breaks the 60 barrier on Metro. So, more memory, wider memory buzz, higher clocks. At the moment, 
the card's a little bit cheaper than the 960 or the 285. So I think the winner out of the NVIDIA 960 and the AMD 285 is in fact going to be the AMD 280X. Um, that's what I would be buying um, and at the price it's going to win the Rengold Award because if you shop around you can pick this card up for 150 quid shop around I, I have looked and looked and looked today to find this as cheap as I can so I've seen it for 150 I also found a 285 for 150 pounds um, uh, but that was on a special offer so out of the three it's the 280X so AMD you win this one and Congratulations to you because again, if you know, it does mean a lot coming from me. Because, um, like I say, uh, I haven't used them for a number of years only because I had bad cards and there was driver issues and stuff like that. But you know, these these things kind of hang on and they, they leave this taste in your mouth. Um, so I've kind of been hesitant, but I have to say I am getting a little bit swayed towards them at the moment. Um, it will be interesting to see when the 300 series come out, the 380 and the 390 and the 390X and the 395X or whatever AMD you're going to do next. Um, it'd be interesting to see what they're going to do with them. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, I am not going to be around for a few weeks because we are moving house um, and I'm not going to have any internet for a fortnight. And Anyway, any comments, questions, chuck them down here. If it's been helpful, give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. If you're rocking one of these AMD cards or you've got a 960, let me know how you're getting on with it. And I'll see you all very, very soon.